Hi everyone. Today we're going to show you how to use the powerful ANSYS Motion Solver to redesign the front suspension system of an electric Baja car. Here's a little background about this project. Uh, as you see in this picture, this was a Baja car which has originally has a gas engine and it has been replaced with an electric motor and battery but after you remove all those pieces and stuff for gas engine, the mass distribution and the total weight of the car and how those uh, moment and torque has been redistributed has been totally changed. So here the goal is to redesign the front uh, suspension system. Of course, this car would need to redesign the back, but all the focus on this project all is the front. Okay, let's change the gear and go to ANSYS Workbench. If you open up ANSYS Workbench environment, if you go to your extension manager, you could be able to activate your ANSYS Motion extension. As, as you do that, you will be able to see that ANSYS Motion analysis system here. Here I'm going to drag and drop ANSYS Motion here and use the engineering data all they have to open up the model okay here is the geometry in size ANSYS workage environment in this case ANSYS motion preprocessor so let's check out the geometry very quick what I have here is a ball car with front suspension and I have a dummy here uh, the goal is to minimize the acceleration on the head of the driver and also make sure that uh, the maximum displacement on the car based on passing uh, any kind of bump is going to be acceptable. Okay, first let's assign the material very quick. Assign tire for this. And for the dummy, I'm going to use the material I have for the dummy. And for the battery, which is this guy, I'm going to use the battery just because the weight difference for the battery compared to the structure around. And for the frame and everything else, I'm going to use the structure. Okay, let's check out the material real quick. Looks good. Okay, next step is defining the joint. So here, this is the multiple dynamic, and we prefer to use joint whenever possible. Ansys by default create contacts. I'm gonna go and delete all the contacts here. Right click and change the tolerance here. Let's put three, just to avoid unwanted joint and change the connection type from contact to joint and create the connection okay here we go uh ansys contact auto generation created a joint based on the tolerance that we asked for and most of these joints are in the way they're supposed to be for example this is the revolution ansys defined with the wheel and the axle which is making sense we all need to make all the changes here uh, for example, I'm going to go and change uh, the joint between the wheel and this base plate we have for the test. I want to replace that with the contacts, so I'm going to delete this. Okay, to save some time, I applied all the changes, and I'm going to show you very quick what I have done here. Uh, I changed this joint here to a spherical. And... I changed this joint the top to translational. I added a f uh, f translational joint between the ground and this test plate, which is going to use to mimic the bump on the road. Also, I defined the translational joint inside the shock absorber, which I used the same joint system between these two faces to define a spring damper here. So on both sides, uh, I have used the same property as you see here. 
Uh, this is the stiffness of the spring and it's the damping. And just to uh, offset some of the initial weight, I have three lengths here to take care of the initial weight of the car. Okay, so, and also two frictional joints between the wheel and the test plate here. And I fixed the back wheel to the ground because we're gonna only do the test and uh, simulation on the front suspension system. 